everyone, so this is Christmas look two. I decided to do more of a dramatic eye. Um, I just have basically um, like a cranberry silver glitter with a burgundy plum crease colour. And my lips have just kept it quite like a nude pink. And then my cheeks are, I use a bit of a bronzer and some like um, coralline berry blush. So I hope you like this one. I actually had quite a lot of fun making this. I have glitter at the top of my lash line, um, glitter eyeliner. So this is a very nice festive look. It will also be worn for a uh, New Year's Eve party. So I hope you like it. If you want to see how I got this look, keep on watching. So I've just applied my Urban Decay Primer Potion and I've also gone ahead and applied the NYX's Jumble Pencil in Milk all over my lid. So I'm just going to go straight into the first shade. I'm using the Sleek PPQ palette. And then going into the palette, taking that white sort of shimmery shade with a pencil brush. This is the pencil brush by Sigma, the E30. I'm just gonna apply that to my inner tear ducts first. Then taking a flat shader brush, I'm going into this colour which is this sort of orange, like ready orange colour but it has a hint of, it's got some gold reflexes to it as well. I'm just going to apply that to the lid, to two thirds of the lid. Blending it into the silver colour as well. And then with a with the elf blending brush and taking this sort of burgundy colour. I'm just gonna dip that into the brush. I'm just going to apply that to the outer corner of the eye. Then taking Max Antiqued, which looks like this. It's like a bronzy type colour. Bronzy, coppery type colour. I'm going to apply that to the top of the crease line, just to blend out the harsh line. Using a flat blending brush. So I'm going to apply that to the top of that colour. Now doing the same to the bottom lash line, taking the burgundy colour with a flat shader brush and applying that to the outer corner. And that ready orange colour. And then for a highlight colour, I'm taking the Vanity Palette, the Wet n Wild Vanity Palette and taking both shades at the top, using the flat shader brush as well, and just going to apply that to my brow bone. Using the MUA eyeliner pencil in jet black. And then my top lash line using the L'Oreal Super Liner Carbon Gloss. But make it like an extended wing line. Now I'm just going to apply a silver liquid liner by MUA as well. I'm just going to apply that to the top of the lash line, top of the liner that I've just drawn. So these are what the eyes look like. I applied some mascara to my bottom lash line and sort of clumped the lashes together so I sort of matched the my false lashes. So I'm just going to show you the rest of my face. So for my face first of all I used the bronzer by CoverGirl which is the bronzer in ebony bronze and that was just to contour my cheekbones. For my blush I first used the sleek coral blush but then realised that it wasn't really showing up 
a lot on my cheek. So I also added a bit of Femberry as well by Sleek. And then as I could highlight just the top of my cheeks I used also another Sleek blush but this is Rose Gold. It has like a nice shimmery look to it. And I was to add to just add a bit of a glow to my cheeks. For my lips I filled in my lips with this L'Oreal lip pencil in cappuccino so it swatches like that and then I use the lipstick by Rimmel called Asia which looks like that it's a nice nude pink lipstick and then for lip gloss I use NYX's lip gloss in mega shine lip gloss in smoky look it looks like that has a nice like a bit of a coral um, sheen to it, corally pink, and then just to outline the outer corners of my lips, I used Max Chestnut Lip Pencil. It's just a dark brown colour just to outline the outer corners of my lips, and that's basically it. So I hope you like this look. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.